What's up everyone? Today's video is all about national insurance number and questions related to it. So if you are someone who is thinking what is national insurance number, when to apply for it, how to apply for it, does it cost you to apply for it, is it okay to not have one, how long does it take to get one. All these questions are going to be answered by me in this video and not only that I'm going to show you the step by step tutorial on how to apply for a national insurance number. So if you are someone who is an international student or a newcomer or planning to come to the UK then this video is for you. Before we start do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel because I come up with all such amazing content related to life in the UK every week on Wednesday. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So what is national insurance number? It's a 9 digit unique tax identifier number issued by UK government to track the amount of money you earn and collect taxes on it. It's just like how you get social security number in the US and PAN number if you are in India. It's really important to have one because if you're applying for jobs in the UK then having a national insurance number is a must. It is really easy to apply and also it's free of cost. Don't worry, I'm going to show you in a second. But before that, let me tell you that it usually takes around 8 weeks for you to get your national insurance number. So make sure that once you are in the UK and if you have received your BRP, that head on to gov.uk's website and apply for national insurance number. And if in case during the processing time, if you have received a job offer from a part-time or a full-time place, then don't worry, you can always show them the status letter that you might have received when you apply for a national insurance number. So my advice is as soon as you land in the UK, first thing you have to do is collect your BRP and the second important thing is to apply for national insurance number because it's a must have thing. You can literally not apply for any jobs without a national insurance number. Let's now dive into a step by step tutorial on how to apply for a national insurance number. Don't worry, it's very simple. Just head on to Google and type in how to apply for a national insurance number UK and click on enter. You're going to see the first link, just click on it, just scroll down and click on apply. This is the first option you're going to see. So basically it's asking you if you have a national insurance number for yourself before. I'm assuming that you haven't had one. So click on no and press continue. The second one is are you working or looking for work in the UK? So as I told you guys in the beginning of the video, for example, if you already have an offer and if you don't have a national insurance number, then click the first one. Mostly the second option is going to be for most of the people. So this is for someone that if you are looking for a job in the UK and if you don't have national insurance then click the second one. And the third one is that you are not working but you just want national insurance number for future purposes then click on the third one. I'm going to select second one just to show you guys. Click on continue. Then just type in your full name. So in my case my full name is Shafir Arnoldwala. Then click on continue. This is asking you if you had any other name apart from this. So this is the only name that I had. So I'm going to click on no. Then just put your gender. Put your nationality. So my nationality is Indian. Then it's going to ask you for your date of birth. So just put your date of birth. So on this page it's going to ask you if you were born in the UK. So I'm assuming that most of you are international student. So the answer should be no. But if you are a British citizen and if you are actually born in the UK then you can click on yes. Press continue. Now it's asking you when was the first date when you arrived in the UK. So for me I came 4 years before so I don't actually remember the exact date. But just for this video I'm going to type in some random date. Continue. Now in this section it's very important is asking you for your actual address to so make sure you are giving them your actual address where you are staying because you're going to receive your national insurance number by post they're not going to send you it over via email. Most of the confidential information that you see from the government is always through post and not by email. So the address you're going to give it to them is where you're going to receive your national insurance number by post. So be mindful of that that you actually have the access of that address. So this is what I was trying to say. Basically, they're asking you if they can send letters onto this address. So make sure that you select yes. If you select no, then they're going to ask you for alternative address where they can actually post your national insurance number. So that's why in order for you to get your national insurance number, ensure that your address is accurate and correct. This page, basically, they're trying to ask you if you have any disabilities. So thank God we don't have any. So click on yes. Now they're asking you if they can send you a confirmation over email. So click on yes. 
put your email press continue on this page they're asking you for your contact details just in case the document that you have provided if there's any discrepancy and if they cannot verify your document so they can call you now on this page it's going to ask you if you have a passport if yes then i need to put my passport number so i'm just going to put my passport number click on continue then on this page is asking me if i have a brp yes i do have and i'm going to put my brp number for those of you who are confused on where exactly the brp number on the card is then all you can do is just go into google and type and where is brp number on card and then if you click on images so this is where the brp number is on your brp so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to type in my brp number i'm going to click continue basically on this page is asking you if you can upload your documents online if you can that's perfect if you cannot then you'll have to send them through by post so just click on yes and press continue this is where they are showing you the instruction on how to upload your passport so just have a read of that what i'm going to do is just for example purposes i'm just going to upload any random file click on open i'll click on continue to upload so it's really funny like this is a thumbnail of my video so just for an example i have uploaded this image and it's gonna ask you does your photo meet these requirements if it is actually meeting the requirement then click on yes I'll press on continue now it's asking me take an upload photo of yourself holding the passport so you can clearly see the instruction is everything is written over here just have a read of that i'm just gonna click on choose photo i'm gonna upload the same picture again click on continue to upload you can have a look at that so right now you might see my thumbnail but when you are actually clicking a picture with your passport then you can actually see and compare it with the instruction that has been given on the website now it's saying does your photo meet these requirements yes you click on continue on this page is asking you to upload your brp so make sure that you upload your brp in this format and not like you know when your finger is covering any information on the brp that shouldn't be the case so yeah i'm gonna upload that dummy photo again click on continue does your photo meet these requirements yes so now on this page just like you fill any other form it's showing you all the details that's been entered by you so make sure to check it correctly because after you hit the submit button then you cannot change any information so just go through it thoroughly also don't forget to check your passport number and your brp number that's where most of the people make mistakes by typing in incorrect passport and brp number which makes it tough for you to get your national insurance number so have a proper go through once you are done filling all the details after you are done verifying your details you can see this little box which says that i have read and understood the information on this page just click on this and click on accept and send this is going to send your application to the government of the uk and you will receive a confirmation email saying that they have received your application after you are done submitting your application you will receive your national insurance number between four to eight weeks that's it from this video if you have any more questions regarding national insurance number then don't hesitate to put them down in the comment section i'll try to answer that if you want to know how to get a sponsored job in the uk don't worry i have already made a video on that you can check out i'll put the link in the bio if you are a student looking for a part-time job then don't worry either because i have made a video on that one as well the link is in the bio you can check out my youtube channel i come up with all such amazing content so make sure that you hit the like button if you find the video informative and don't forget to subscribe my channel i come up with all such amazing content with that being said bye for now